the coming year is a historic event in many ways. The United Nations has declared the World International Yoga Day. Over fifteen thousand years ago, since Adi Yogi, many things have happened in terms of propagating yoga, in terms of reaching out. Many administrations in the form of kings took to yoga. For the first time, the head of a major nation on the planet is talking about yoga in public, in international forum. And I invite him to address the assembly, Mr. Prime Minister. Yoga keval vyayam bhar na ho kar, apne aap se tatha vishwa va prakruti ke saath this could be a kind of a foundation stone to make scientific approach to the inner well-being of the human being, a worldwide thing. That if you want to be well, you don't have to seek heaven's help, you can turn inward and fix it. This is the message when you say there is a International Yoga Day, this is what it means. The world is beginning to accept human well-being is not in heaven, it's within us. It's a tremendous step for the world and for the first time, 177 countries get together to pass a resolution. Never before in the history of United Nations, 177 countries have voted for anything. I want you to understand, this has lived for over fifteen thousand years without any kind of one organization pushing it or forcing it. Simply because of its efficacy, because it works, it's lived. Today, nearly two billion people on the planet are doing some form of yoga. I'm not happy with that. I want the 7.2 billion people to do some form of yoga because in the last hundred years we have ripped the planet apart, but we are nowhere near well-being. If human well-being has to happen, the only and only way is one has to turn inward, there is really no other way. Because pain and pleasure happens from within you, joy and misery happens from within you. The very light and darkness happens within you. The only space where you generate experience is within. If you don't turn inward, fixing your well-being on this planet is out of question. Today, we have the necessary resource, capability and technology to address every human problem on the planet. Never before was this possible. Only thing that's missing is an inclusive consciousness of human beings. And this is what yoga can do beyond religion, beyond belief systems, beyond caste, creed, race, nationality. People can experience a deep sense of unity within themselves, which is what the world needs. This is a momentous step that humanity is taking. It is time the world turns inward for their well-being, not up, not out, in. In is the only way out. If you want well-being, in is the only way out. En masse, people all over the world took to their mat, marking the first ever International Day of Yoga. More than 35,000 gathered in New Delhi for the event. Isha Foundation also stepped forward to help reach yoga in a massive way. No less than 35,600 Isha teachers taught Upa Yoga classes in over 1 lakh locations around the planet to bring the true wealth of yoga to people everywhere. Over 2 million across the globe took time out to become a part of Yoga Day. Today we heard uh, Sadhguru speaking. It's a very enriching experience. People from different cultures, ethnicities and religious backgrounds created a global wave. It is 
did one of the yoga classes. It was really good. The videos were really easy to follow. It is good. There is having a reminder at least once a year for people that there is something else to life. June 21st, International Day of Yoga, has become a day to remember. Great experience for everyone. Yeah, it was my first time here. Definitely really good stuff, really good stuff. Thank you very much. I learned it uh, first time. Notice that it helped me a lot. Even 35,000 feet up in the air, people were getting high on yoga. You can reach up to look at the flight. This uh, the flight by itself on this. Very effective. The internet helped us reach even more. Over 7.5 million joined us as we released special content, five minute practices, and even a yoga app. The inspiration behind this whole effort was Sadhguru, a profound yogi and mystic of our times. And with the support of the media, Sadhguru's wisdom on yoga reached many more. Sadhguru, he runs the Isha Foundation, which is a, an international yoga foundation which has, uh, has trained about 30 million people. Every individual should be able to hold the tools of transformation and well-being in their own hands. This message going across in the form of International Yoga Day is truly historic. This is a true empowerment to humanity. I hope everybody, every one of us will stand up to this occasion and fulfill this great responsibility that's been placed in our hands, the privilege of being able to raise human consciousness, the privilege of being able to make a huge difference in the world. Thank you very much.